It may not be the city of trees. They're providing habitat value. But Seattle? They're right here in the city. Has thousands of them. This is sort of just on the margin of being exceptional. Yet not all trees are grown the same. That tree is like 60, 70 years old. Just ask and Steve Zemke. There's one, two, three street trees. A civic activist who knows nature. This is only probably six or seven years growth for that tree. But is having trouble seeing through the forest of legislation now before the city council. But this ordinance is premature in what they're trying to do. It's a very complex issue. He testified this week to save the trees. So maybe we start with exceptional trees. The council considering new regulations, which, depending on who you ask, may make it easier to cut down tall timbers and streamline permitting as the city struggles with growth. There's currently no path forward for an exceptional tree to be removed, but we know that um, what's happening is then people are getting them designated as hazardous and then they're removing them. This is sort of just on the margin of being exceptional. Zemke has been stumping to tighten up the legislation to protect the pine cones, cedar, and everything that is evergreen. Which are the survivors in our city. They're the ones that have weathered the, the rainstorms, the hailstorms, the everything that's come down. He believes there is a compromise, knock on wood. We need to discuss what do we consider an exceptional tree. The city council is planning to finalize tree legislation next year, depending on just how the leaves fall. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.